And I want to remind everybody, this is the Ready Raider League. Type exclamation point league in chat to get some info. Yo, what's up, Parla? Yo, I need a VIP, you bro. You're that you're that bis priest. And here we go. Lintu gets a charge out on Chloe Bryant into a hamstring. And that and Chloe Bryant got caught out a little bit there. Oh, the, fi the, the fire reflect impact stuns Voika. Lintu fire reflecting Voika. Big play there from Lintu. Oh man, Voika impact stunning himself is Monka Giga for sure. There's some sappers, some blast waves. Lintu survives all of it, goes on to Soralia and brings him down with the cleave. Okay, Lintu, I see you. Life giving Jim's gonna fall off. Fireball hits him from Voika. Voika trying to clean him up. He says, You're gonna reflect my fireball. We'll have another, sir. And Lintu takes a soul stone, gets a charge out on Zopi into immediately a Hodge. Where's the dispel on the Hodge? Lintu's sitting in a full Hodge and he dies. Oh no. All right, we're gonna go to Stormax. He's got the flag out, but he's running into some more discombobulator ray from Tilted on Mato. And now Mato might not be able to connect to Stormax. Stormax still has the dash going. Giving him some distance. Rocket Helm on Liliha from Chloe Bryant. Another Discombobulator Ray, this time on Flamey the Shaman. And I don't think the Dispel is going to connect. The Purges, Stormax still gets to carry this Fear Ward over to the other side. And now the story is, can this Horde team get this flag out? Pet Page is going to take his roof. And they're going to try to get this flag out. Maybe go drop down to Connector. Uh, ooh, the Long Range Death Coil from UHD! Oh no, Curse of Exhaustion, decurse yourself, Pet Page. There it is, and he's not gonna jump just yet because he is getting intel that Stormax is in that balcony with Dr. Perplexity. Pet Page jumps down from the, the roof. He has to heal himself. Shadow Burn, Blast Wave, Sapper. Looks like a title, uh, a title just went out as well. I think it got resisted there, and Pet Page gets Novid. There's a Blast Wave. Gotta get some heals out on Pet Page. Kidney shot from uh, Perplexity. One more heal, there's a Mortar. And the repick, the return from Voika, no repick whatsoever. And Stormax caps 1 0 on Team Oof. But I tell you what, I am glad they got that flag out somewhat. And we had a moment there, a glimpse of hope. But at the end of the day, it was actually a glimpse of madness from Zulp's uh, Dark Edge of Insanity because it is 1 0. And Final Form is playing insane. Motto right now, Interfere, cheap shotted, and now the Alliance are just doing a little bit of farming at the graveyard. Motto, they're just gonna trap him. Right now, Medge has the flag. Hodge is Indy, the Warlock. It gets dispelled from his pet, Devour Magic. Medge trying to do what he can, get, uh, takes the boots. Rocket Helm's Indy, there's no Devour Magic for this because you use it on Hodge. Oh no! And Medge is gone, going down tunnel. And there is uh, plenty of horde to stop him there. Medge is gonna have to fight backwards. It's just a paladin and a druid, and they're not gonna be able to survive these four. If the horde team doesn't get this kill here, this is a hard throw. There's no way. There's no way Medge get, gets away here. The horde team is trolling if they don't get this kill. He has a restorative potion going. I like that play from Medge. He goes for the handoff on a Stormex. Oh my God, this is not happening. This is a nightmare. Stormex is gone. How is this possible? Rocket Helm on Stormex. Okay, please. There's a Goblin Mortar into a Frostbolt from Indie Mage. Code of Gold. Title. Shadow Word Pain. Silence out on Medge. No heals for Medge. There's a Death Coral. Stormex goes down. Medge gets the Ray Pick. No. No way! Medge has the repick. He gets blasted by the shaman. No way! How is this possible? He drops the flag and he hands it over to Tilted. Now Tilted has the flag. This is not happening. This is not happening. Tilted has to kite back towards his team in case the, he dies here to the warrior. He blinks away. Lintu gets scatter shot. No intercept from Lintu. This isn't fair. This is illegal. This is illegal. Someone call the police. Arrest final form. No, don't arrest Final Form. Arrest Team Oof. This is not this is not legal. Laws are being broken. International laws in Europe are being broken. It was eight versus two in the tunnel and the flag got away. 
Oh my god, Pep H is gouged by perplexity. He goes bear form. He, he pops the fap. You have to leave bear form to pop free action potion. He can't do it in cast form. He gets flash bomb. He trinkets it. Now Dr. Perplexity has a kidney shot loaded up and ready. He's got fap taken for a few more seconds. Tilted drops down, goes for the Nova, gets a, tries to go for a polymorph. I don't know on who. Pep H shifts it. Maybe there was a flash bomb that went out. Perplexity is going to peel Indy. Indy. And now Pep H is running into Chloe Bryan. Was that a, a regular grenade that got whiffed? I'm not sure. Pep H is going for a little bit of uh, uh, tree hop in here. All right. Pep H got the flag out. We might have a game on our hands. Can Pep H get this flag on his roof? And let's go to an offense defense. Oh, man. I can't believe that happened. I, I truly... He's got wooden staff going. Okay. With the 22 int enchant. All right. Going for that hard defense stats. Is he in rank 10? Drew it in rank 10. All right. Didn't go all the way to 13. Might be a, not necessarily a misplay by any means, but against uh, apes, it is definitely a misplay. You are missing that rank 13 gear big time against you know who, Dr. Perplexity on the other side. And no way this is, is Storm X going to make a play on roof here? That would be disgusting. All right, it looks like Storm X is going to bide his time on the roof. Pep H is going to set up his horde defense. And right now the flag gets handed over to Tilted. Tilted is on the roof waiting for... What is he waiting for? No way. Storm X is, is on the other side waiting for a repick. He's that confident that they're going to cap here. And we're not going to have a full offense defense situation. No way. Honestly, that is, that is kind of BM. That is BM, and if you're not familiar, BM is a gaming term that means bad manners. That Stormax would have this much disrespect for his opponents that he's not even going to hold the flag in his own base. MC Cap onto uh, Mato, and uh, there's a rocket helm from Stormax into a, uh, a hibernate, and Pepe just hibernated in human form. No way! Spell lock, death coil deleted. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up right now. Stormex, the absolute BM god, gets the rocket helm into the hibernate on the enemy team's druid. Stormex is playing rogue there, locks the druid down, the, the offense gets on roof, and Stormex and his team take a, a fat dump on the oof's defense quick kill on that defense return the flag and stormex is already in position to pick the flag uh, i don't know what to say i don't know what to say i i, I don't know I don't, I don't, I don't, <sighs> all right lintu hands the flag over to pep page all right pep page <laughs> Game face, let's go Fire Maw. Team Oof, game face. Sure, you're going up against uh, the all-time greats of Team Final Form. Flash bomb on Pep H. He, ca he tries to shift out of it, but he gets caught in caster form. Chloe Bryan follows it up with a psychic scream. Silence on Chloe Bryan. A little bit too late. He gets polymorph. Pep H right now walking around in caster form. While Feared gets a feral charge away from the Storm X and Polythesia. He says, I don't want to get hibernated again by Mr. Storm X. Please don't hibernate me, Storm X. Goes in bear form, trying to run away. Polymorph on Voika. I, I like the peels from the Horn team here, but title charge from Perplexity. Let's see what Perplexity can do here. He gets a vanish and gets knocked out into a blind, into a polymorph. Rocket Helm on Excrement. Curse of Exhaustion on Dr. Perplexity. Pep H shifts another flash bomb. And that one just gets whiffed, whatever that was. Pep H going to go for a top of tunnel jump here. Goes in bear form. Big play there. He makes the jump. Tilted right behind him on his trail. Curse of Exhaustion a little bit too late. Tilted decurses it anyway. And now Pep H is going to have to go down to uh, the second layer on top of tunnel here. So many uh, Horde are here to support him. No way Zolp is going to get a kill here. Zolp doesn't have recklessness. Zolp dies. Pep H sitting at half health. Gets Nova here. Has to shift out. Kind of whiffing the top of tunnel jump here. It whiffs it again because he's got a Noggin Fogger slow on him. Goes in bear, gonna go up tunnel, Polythesia right behind him. Getting the dispels out, Pep H is completely stripped, has no buffs whatsoever. And uh, 
Pepe H has perplexity targeted. But look who's there at the top of tunnel. Pepe H, what are you doing, bud? You're in a little bit of trouble. He's still in caster form. All right, Pepe H is going to go roof. He's got Indie Mage with him. Gonna get some trash buffs back out on Pepe. He's got Dr. Perplexity targeted. He's got him on the uh, unit scan or the uh, battleground target uh, add on. <laughs> UHD and Medge. They're waiting down in the uh, in the flag room. Pepe, Pepe H sees Mato getting killed. And now he's lost his hunter. Pepe H. It's just Mage and Priest. Pizza Guy, Indie Mage, and Pepe H on the roof. Right now, they gotta walk around the roof and see if they can catch Storm X so they don't get rocket helmed and hibernated. But here comes UHDX leading the charge for his team. He's the first one out. Here comes Polythesia and Voika. Not sure where Zulp is, but they're just gonna go with it anyway. Four man offense pushes Pep H off. Pep H jumps down. And Dr. Perplexity is currently in the graveyard, so he's not afraid of the rogue right now. But he popped his skull and his free action potion anyway even though there's no rogue there. So there's a lot of respect here from Pep H. He's doing everything he can to not die. And he might be uh, using his cooldowns when he didn't really need to. It was a four man offense. No rogue was there. He could have sat on that free action potion and that skull a little bit longer because he might not have it up on this next push. And here comes Zulp, gets the charge up onto the roof. Mortal Strike already, half health for Pep H. And Zulp is trying to do a little one man hero play. He catches him and casts him over Dark Edge of Insanity. Can he get the auto off? Oh my God, it was so close. There's even a shadow reflector from Pep H. Voika over here gets Feral charged. Medge, Indie Mage gets away, or Medge gets away. Voika gets a Kona Kona on Pep H. Pep H can't kite too far away. He's getting away from his healers. And UHD gets scatter shot on top of tunnel. My God, the, the freaking Dark Edge of Insanity proc would have been insane. Feral charge on Pep H. Or Medge, excuse me, Pep H trying to do what he can to stay alive here. Voika is doing so much damage. Hodge in caster form. Squinch from Voika. He gets naded. Death coil. And oh my god, he's gonna die. UHD gets the return. And is Storm X in position for the cap? He is. 12 minute game. Final form. Two.